Greetings and welcome to another edition of Science Sunday here at the Connecticut Science Center. Of course, joined by Eva Ryle. Good morning. Good morning, good morning. Uh, so we're talking about colors today and we're going to do a little drawing? Yes. Okay. Yeah, I thought we'd do some arts and crafts. Oh, fun. I always like a art craft and science. project on a Sunday morning. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, well, yeah it's a nice blend. <laughs> um, so this is actually brought to us by some of our teens uh, from our teen program this summer. They developed this activity um, and let me kind of share it with everyone today. So thank you. Um, so we're going to start off, like you said, with a little drawing. Okay. So we're going to use two colors, red and blue, um, and draw whatever you want, write whatever you want. Okay. I'm mm -hmm. going to draw a portrait of you. Can I do like a smiley face? Put right. your glasses in there. Do your hair. Oh, you're not going to like this drawing. I'm sorry oh, in advance. Thanks, thanks, thanks a lot. <laughs> All right. Are you done? A very basic, like... I did two things. I got like a smiley face and then I got a, I just made a star. All right, cool. Oh, so, well, look at me. I'm trying, I tried to draw, <laughs> I tried to draw a portrait of you. Nicely done. Yeah, I mean, I'll take it. <laughs> I'm a scientist, not an artist. <laughs> All right, here's the fun though. So I have these two colored filters here. One is blue and one is red. Okay. And I'm going to hold them over your drawing. Okay. All right, so we'll start with the red one. So what do you notice? Um, all that I see uh, is a mouth. Right, yeah. yeah. So all that red. Um, looks like it's almost disappeared and the blue it's really not blue anymore it's almost like a it's kind of like black yeah like a dark color okay right, let's start with the blue what do you think is going to happen with the blue? Uh, probably the reverse all right let's see yep the yeah. mouth goes away we see the star we see the eyes yeah all and right. they don't really look red anymore right yeah kind of like really dark do you mind holding my one i want to yeah, see of course <laughs> yeah, see if it actually see. Works. i mean especially because you kind of overlap the colors yeah. yeah i was trying to do there's happy happy mark okay and then, <laughs> and then this is when Science Sunday ends. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> well. So, so we can overlap those colors and then see, oh, I missed one of your eyes. Whoops. It's a bummer. <laughs> all right, well, let's talk about how this actually works. Yeah, let's. Um, for all those artists out there who will do a better job than me. Um, so this uh, kind of shows all of the colors of light. So white light is made up of all these colors. When they hit our colored filter, the only light that is able to pass through is the color that the filter is, right? So while we use blue and red, we're now using a green filter. Yes. Okay. So for example, though, with the red filter, the color that's able to pass through is red. Uh -huh. Now the problem is when you draw with a red pen, you're seeing red light reflected back at you. And through this filter, it's kind of all blending in together okay. and it almost seems to disappear because the red light reflecting back off the pencil drawing is um, kind of melding in with the red light that it's allowed to pass through. Gotcha. Now, blue doesn't reflect red light, it absorbs it. So that blue pen isn't allowing any light to be reflected back through the filter. And so it kind of appears like black because okay. it's absorbing everything. Gotcha. So that's why we kind of see that red look like it disappear through this and the blue kind of looks really dark, almost like no light is bouncing back off it. Very nice. Yeah, so easy enough to try it at home. These are just uh, like lighting gels. Okay. But you can also take a saran wrap and color it if you want it. Okay. Yeah, with just a marker. That's a little workaround. That works as well. Excellent. Yeah. Good stuff. Yeah. It's always good to have projects to do at home. Yeah, exactly. And we should let everyone know about an event happening next mm -hmm. weekend, specifically on Saturday the 18th. Yes. So it's our community day and also make fest. So everyone is $10 into the Science Center um, for community day. But on top of that, we're going to have local artisans and makers from all around Connecticut um, sharing you know, their expertise um, with us. So we're really excited about that. So it'll be a ton of fun things to interact with and engage and see. So it'll be so a fun day. So ctsciencecenter.org mm -hmm. to secure your spot and the $10 price. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Community Day next Saturday, mm -hmm. specifically Saturday. Yes. All right, Eva, thank you so much. Of course, we'll see you for another edition of Science Sunday next weekend.